finally, uh, as we get into the sector zone, uh, there is a very small Ralph update. Now, Ralph posted to Twitter that he was hacked for some reason. Um, so I have no idea. Like, he posted some kind of rant, but the really interesting rant was about this. He says, he says, I say, I'm sorry. Wait, <clears throat> I haven't done my voice in, in weeks now. I'm sorry I took a couple days off. I don't really need to take days off. I have to miss some of this upcoming week anyway. I've been doing a lot of thinking, though. I posted some stuff here recently. I didn't mean to make anyone worry. I guess I just said what I've been feeling so bad about. Also, I only have this account on my phone, LOL. It's difficult knowing you torpedoed your personal life beyond repair with no hope of tranquility. The one person you wish you could make it right with over anyone else doesn't want anything to do with you. And rightfully so. The other actual living pieces of you fade into your mind and races from memory into a new state you can't even comprehend. The mannerisms, features, the precious smile you took for granted, gone. Your mind creates a new image of what you might be. That the computer generated have you seen me flyer cards in your direct mail. I don't write this to have anyone feeling sorry for me. I write this because I a lot of you love me from a distance. I receive messages of you all from all of you all the time and have s several sent me messages last night. Positive and caring, legitimate feeling. I genuinely love you all as well. I wanted you to know how much it's meant to me over the years, especially now. I know many of you struggle, some with issues similar to mine. I want to be a guy you can point two years from now and say that guy really changed, not for clout or career, to do better and leave something good on top of all the bad. Maybe someday, if you mean it and live it, the ones you love will forgive you. Then again, maybe they won't. If they choose to give that one day, it will be their choice, not yours. You have to do good for good, not to get some. I've enjoyed the last couple of weeks of Killstream. I don't want anyone to get down. This is a somber post, but it's not meant to be discouraging. It's meant to be uplifting. I still talk shit. I'm still a loudmouth. I enjoy entertaining you and putting a unique show out. That's something you don't find anywhere else. I'm very much committed to that mission. I know I can do it at a high level. I'm not drunk. I haven't gone off the edge or over the cliff. I've thoughtful about my life, and I'd like to see the rest of it go. I've been working on a lot of it behind the scenes. I had a picture drawn for me years ago. I still have it. It was a beautiful tiger jumping through a fire hoop. It was dedicated to the wild tiger, me, who refused to be tamed. I wish to be allowed myself to be tamed back then and to be healed. We deserve better. You can't keep a wild tiger, even a loving one. I'm working on reforming that wild son of a bitch. Tiger emoji. Thank you for the well wishes. I'll be back very soon. Um, so he's pretty... Oh, he immediately switches. Okay, before I read this, um, let me do something real quick. Let's see. Hold on, give me one second. All right, all right, that should work. Uh, Ethan Ralph says, You don't even know what moral outrage is, you idiot. A second-rate intellect is responding to the Gator game or actually. Gator says, Without Sargon, Milo, and Jim, you'd just be a fat hillbilly Eminem. Without Janet and Nora, there'd be no kill stream. Without me and Zidane, you'd be streaming to less than COG. Spare me the selective moral outrage. The only talent you have is being a perpetual trash fire. Um, this is in reverse order, actually. Let me read the first one first. Gator says, Didn't you cry when Jim berated you on live stream? Uh, don't know if you want to get into a dad fight, considering I can call mine and tell him I love him, but the last time you saw yours was in a puddle. Be, but nice of you to take a break from tweeting your 13 reasons why to drop by. 
He then says, like I said, bitter weirdo complete with fan fiction responds immediately to any Ralph interaction. Ha 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 ha. A dead dad joke. Mr. Mole high ground. Disingenuous scum. I have more talent in my left panky than Gator could ever have. And it makes him very angry. Um, Ethan Hoff says, you don't even know what moral outrage is, you idiot. Second rate intellect with the first rate predilection for underage anime girls. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Uh, You've universally reviled among the kill stream audience from every era, and I put thousands on the board without any of those people. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hard for, for Gator to take shots at Ralph, to be fair. I mean, like the, the big thing about Gator is that he took like marching orders from from Ralph for years. Okay, uh, I have made the thing that I was working for. Uh, his image inspired me to on the fly go ahead and use the Bing image creation tool. Uh, here we have a half tiger, half pig flying through a fiery hoop with the big kill stream K in the background. Very cool, Bing. Very cool. Thank you. Sorry, Gator. Uh, sorry, that's Ashley Isaacs. I didn't mean to show that to you again. Uh, the big thing here, and I think this is what's upsetting Ralph, is that, um, and there was some confusion about if this was real or not, because some people didn't immediately make fake uh, Instagram accounts to try and capitalize on this. However, May did come back to Twitter to put out this message to everybody. Westside Wildflower, Wildflower says, My daughter trying to tell me to get a dog and a boyfriend. And then May, uh, just throwing out a line there in case any fine young men out there would like to, uh, I guess, take care of a, of a toddler aged little girl. I don't know. That's not exactly what I would bait a hook with when I was, if I was a single mom trying to attract a man, I would definitely not throw out there, Hey, I have a toddler aged daughter. Uh, sounds like the wrong approach. I would really hope that's an accident and you probably should revise your strategy because that looks really bad. And the guys you would attract with messaging like that are not the kind of guys you would want around them. Um, so yes, maybe switch it up a little bit. Uh, however, there is a man out there. There is a man out there who can fix her and his name is the Gator game more? It is still possible. I know Gator will think I, as as the top gym impersonator, can do a little bit better than May Ralph. No, no, Gator, you cannot. Spooky Weeb Trash still does not let you fuck her. You are still doing that anime boomer podcast. It will never happen. You will never smash that box for the love of God. You have a woman out here who is retarded and she is using her daughter as bait to try and find a man. You need to save her Gator. You need to, you need to help. You need to interject yourself into this matter and be the stepfather. We all know you can be, uh, it can still happen chat. It can still happen. But yeah, it's just weird. He just like obsesses about me all the time. Even when I'm not saying anything about him, even when I'm not saying anything offensive, I was like, well, you know, kind of eat up about what I lost. I wasn't talking about anything at the show, of course, but I was like, yeah, I'll probably always will be. And he like quote tweeted that. He's like, he had, I don't know, some sag on there. And I'm like, what in the fuck? What is this guy even? He's literally seething. Let me see if I can find it. I think he's blocked on the Killstream account. Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit go before a fall. Better it is to be of humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Like, why even? Nigga, it was nothing to even do with you. And then he's he put out this tweet. I don't know. I'm not going to read it. He's, like, taking a shot at my dead dad. It's like, What? Then he called that moral outrage, me pointing that out. I'm like, dude, that's not moral outrage. Yeah, he's quoting the Bible as if he reads it. Yeah, I know. It's like, okay, so you have the moral high ground and you're taking a shot at my dad being dead? It's not moral outrage. It's just pointing out you're full of shit. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, say whatever you want. I'd be the last one to get all high and mighty about something. But it's like, okay, in one breath you're taking the moral high ground and the next you're taking a shot at my dead dad who you never even knew? who never had anything to do with you at all is like, okay, well, you're crazy. Like, I don't. <laughs> so then I finally put this out. I put a couple out. 
I have a breathalyzer here. Then he tried to say the breathalyzer was fake. I was like, I don't even know where to get a fake breathalyzer. Father Gator, yeah, he's got a lot to say. Gator, I'm not strung out. You're just a dumbass. I can't help it that I beat your ass all over Twitter anytime you try to compare wits with the master. There's a reason I was your boss for all those years. There's a reason people come to watch me, not you, soundboard monkey loser who stopped doing the one good thing he ever did because his daddy Jim made fun of him. Can't you go jack off to some underage anime girls and just leave me alone, <laughs> loser? So I put that out and it had like 8,000 views. So it did pretty good. And then he's like, no, you're drunk. This proves it. It's like, well, I'm not. I guess that is the one thing that'll like get me. I'm like, I'm not drunk, dude. <laughs> you're just making shit up. You're literally just making shit up. Okay. Well, I'm not drunk. What the fuck? I took a couple of days out. You could say I'm whatever in my thoughts or whatever you want to say, but no, I'm not fucking drunk. I wasn't drunk the whole time. I just didn't do any shows. Okay, I should have done shows. That's true. <laughs> you could make it a real talking point, but they're just so desperate to have me be drunk and have me be like on something. And it's like, I'm not. You would know if I was on something. It, I'm like completely uncontrollable if I'm on. It's, <laughs> especially like really drunk or really on. Like, I mean, there's no controlling that. And it's quite obvious. Gator, you're just lying again. Why do you even bother? I mean, I have a breathalyzer, for fuck's sake. Yes, I took the breathalyzer. I had to dig it up because I didn't. It was like over in a box somewhere. Zero. It finally focuses here. Zero, 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 zero. Kind of like your career accomplishments. Nah, I shouldn't have indulged it, but it's like, okay. Well, fuck it. I'm just going to take a breathalyzer here, which I mean I shouldn't, but because who cares what Gator's talking about? But some people actually believe that shit. I saw somebody watch the show. He's like, Ralph, you drunk? I'm like, no, I'm not, motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. HMO. I don't care. I don't even know who that person is. A Smaster 33 sent $10. Can you play that King of Sting video I posted to the Telegram earlier? Yeah. Also, Gator forgot the 11th commandment, thou shalt not beat off to anime children. Yeah, he always forgets that one. Yeah, I don't know who that other person is. He sounds like a faggot, though. So, thank you for the dollar. They got say There are some, uh, some people really desperate to get my attention. And they're never going to. So... You can expect more desperation on that front, I would imagine. But, uh, you know, when you can't do anything else, what else, do you, what else do you have? And when you get ignored for, I don't know, like 50, 60 days straight, you're probably getting pretty desperate, I would have to imagine. So I don't care what they say or do. So. There's my wife right there. I love you, Gator Husband Osama. Brian Shannon, get back to work. Quit fantasizing. And this is the second time I've had to tell you to take off that hat. Do it one more time, and I'm writing you up, mister. We had a couple super chats before take off the hat. No, one no, kick. you're not talking in uh -oh. that voice either. Th Use th your real th voice when you're at work. <laughs> Why is it cut off? Real no, it's not your real voice. Now stop. Yes, it is. Stop doing it and go sweep up. Skipping. What the fuck? Oh. Why would it do that? I'm gonna have to replay this. Fuck that. Let me just refresh it. I don't know what's going. On. There's my wife. Who... <laughs> what the fuck? YouTube's not gonna work. Okay. Right there. I love you, like Gator. Hi uh. Husband okay. Osama. Brian Shannon, get back to work. What in the fuck? Quit fantasizing. And this is the second time I've had to tell you to take off that hat. Do it one more time and I'm right, writing you up, mister. I'll take off the hat. No, one no, kick. you're not talking in that voice either. Th Use th your real th voice when you're at is work. This my real voice. No, it's not your real voice. Now stop doing it and go sweep up. Oh, 
I'll take off the hat. I'll take off the hat. That's the funniest part where he says it like that. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.